Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to route the water system, water pump, water hoses for an X30. Now it's very similar for most go-kart engines that have the radiator over this side. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you've got your engine on because you need to know where you're gonna cut the hoses to length. So that's tip number one. Two, get the radiator installed. And then three, we're gonna install the water pump and then hook up all the hoses and the thermostat. So let's get straight into it. The X30 racing engine package is it comes shipped with everything you're going to need. We've got the water pump, thermostat housing, hose clamps, silicon hoses, the twisty water belts with the little clips. These things are awesome. And a pulley. And I'm going to show you how to install it all nice and easy here on the Tony Car. So the first thing we're going to have to do is install the water pump bracket. It comes supplied with the kit. I'm going to put it about here in the center of the chassis rail. You've got to be careful when you're installing the water pump. That the housing clears the spine of the seat. Otherwise you can sometimes run out of belt tension because this moves or it pivots on the bolt, the mounting bolt, which is down here. If you mount it exactly there, you kind of run out of room to get the tension on the bolts. So just make, keep that in mind when you're mounting your water pump on your chassis. You can put a couple of drops of Loctite down in the threads. Then install the water pump mounting bracket. The water pump mounting bracket is slotted on one of the holes so you can get the orientation right when you put it down onto the chassis. You can just rotate it ever so slightly with that slotted bolt. Now I am only just going to nip these up because we're just trying to get the alignment right but you've got to remember you've got to go back and tighten all these bolts super firm, otherwise they're gonna come loose while you're driving. Insert the hardware into the water pump and the pump down into the bracket. And then we can loosely do up the assembly so we can get it into position. Now with the water pump roughly in position, you can tighten down the screws. We wanna make sure that the water pump is square to the axle. And now we're ready to install the water pipes. The first water pipe, I like to install is the one across the top of the card here. And we start over here on the radiator and just slide the silicon hose onto there and it's already got the hose clamp ready to go. You can nip it off if you want, otherwise I like to go around at the end and do all of them. Well, we're gonna double check them all at the end anyway. So nip it into position so it doesn't move around too much. And then we can come over here and we can grab your thermostat and we're gonna mount that over here with the arrow going towards the radiator and I'm gonna mount that sort of on this orientation so that if we are running a water temperature sensor, if we're not using the one in the head of the engine, we can use the one out of this housing here and you wanna angle that down past the seat so it can go back to your micro. Hold the hose just here like so. And then we're gonna just cut it with our scissors. Now, if you've got scissors like this, it's really good. Otherwise you can use tin sips or a razor blade, but this is the safest method. Your hose clamp on first. Then your thermostat housing, remembering we're gonna put the arrow going towards the radiator. And mount that around there like that so that you've got the water temperature sensor going down, not up, because uh, if it's going up, there's a good chance the driver's gonna knock it with his elbow or whatever and it damage the sensor, as the sensors are pretty fragile. And then you can get the elbow that you just cut off, put on the hose clamp, slide that onto this end of the housing, and the other end to the back of the engine. Very important that you get the engine on first so you know where to cut the hoses and where to run them to. Then we can do up the hose clamps. Stay around to the end of the video where I'll show you how to Finish the job off just perfectly with some zip ties and fuel line. All right, next on the list is the bottom radiator hose. So we're gonna put a hose clamp on again, slide the hose onto there, do that up in a minute, and then come across to your water pump, and we're gonna to have to cut the hose off about here. So just mark it with your finger, get your snips. You can use a texture if you want, then get your finger out of the way. Cut that guy off there, and we're good to go. Slide on a hose clamp, Slide that guy onto there, and we can nip that up while we're going. Boom, we're in business. What 
I like to do with this last hose is just trim about half an inch, depending on the seat of course and how far the engine's mounted over, off the end of this hose so that you can fit it back in here and when it goes on the engine, it doesn't foul on the chassis. And then you can bring the hose around to the water pump. Once again, just grip it roughly in position where you want it. And I'm gonna cut it off about here. Now the hose is cut, slide the hose clamp on, route your hose down onto the water pump, slide the hose clamp up and over, and you can fix him off into position. It's way easier with an electric screwdriver. Just set on a really light torque setting, and then you can go around at the end and square them all off using a normal Phillips head. Now we're going to put the pulley onto the axle. It's as simple as two parts and two screws. When you're putting on a clamp like this that's in two halves, you want to keep the gap basically the same on both sides. What I mean by that is we're not going to have this one so tight that it pinches right up and this one's got a massive gap. Try to keep the gap the same on both sides, even if it means backing this side off and doing this side up a couple of times. Now you're ready to install your twisty belts. We're just going to loop them around the axle, install the little clip, it's as simple as just pulling it through there and locking it on and then we can uh, stretch the belt up and over the pulley, the water pump housing, then over the pulley on the axle. Two is one, one is none. Get that second one on in case of emergency. Now we're ready to set the tension on our pump. With a job like this with multiple parts across the machine, you want to go and double check every nut and bolt that you just put on because if one comes loose, the whole system can go down and you get a big fat DNF or cook your engine. So it's pretty important. So stay tuned to those little details by double checking your work. So a couple little tips about keeping this job primo is to get some of the uh, off cuts from your hoses and we can just cut them down the center. You can use side cutters or I'm mean, using big scissors here or tin snips. And then you can grab that piece of hose, uh, open it up, and you can put it over your existing hose and run that down near where, the, where it comes behind the sharp edge of the seat. Because sometimes with the vibrations, this can rub a hole in it. So you can just put that on there and a couple of zip ties to hold it in place, and boom, you've protected yourself. Another little thing you can do with your offcuts is get a little short piece like this and stick it between the two pipes here uh, we can feed the old zip tie through, up and over around the hose clamp, back down through there, and then around your bottom hose. And then you can just use that as a little bit of a standoff between the two hoses, like so. And then you can just put a couple of zip ties around this little bit of extra hose you've got on there to protect it from the seat, and it'll never come off. The last little trick is to get a little piece of fuel line, feed it down through here with the zip tie. Back through, we've done this one on the old uh, fuel line filters. And then you've got yourself a little standoff there off the back of the seat. Run that around your water, water hose. Back through the zip tie. And bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a little standoff. So when you're running your radiator hoses, take your time and do a great job. Watch out for the hoses rubbing on the seat. That's a bit of a danger and you can do a couple of little step offs like this just to hold the hoses nice and tight while you're out on track. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.